For the hip bridge with rotation and reach, you're going to extend the hips, squeeze the glutes, pressing the feet into the ground. You're going to reach across and over. So this is going to bring in some hip extension as with a rotation. Make sure you exhale as you lift up and reach back and feel the glutes engage. We do not want to engage the lower back for this. We want this all to stay through the feet, the glutes, and the upper spine. For the cat-cow spinal waves, you're going to line up in the quadruped position with the hands in front of the knees. I want you to actively use your hands, your shoulder blades, your head, and your knees and your hips to pull and push the spine into extension and flexion. Start off small and only do what you can. We're trying to wake up the spine, get circulation and blood flow, and get some movement to the muscles that hold each vertebrae in place. What I want you to focus on is inhaling as you drop the spine down into extension and exhaling as you press away into flexion. Back and forth, build into more range of motion as you can. For the quadruped oil rig hip drops, you're gonna elevate one knee about an inch or two above the other, and you're gonna let the other hip drop down. This is trying to differentiate between the two pelvis so we get some range of motion and circulation between that SI joint and the pelvic floor, especially around the sacrum. So you're going to drop down and explore this. There's not necessarily a right or wrong way to do this. Keep the arms straight, keep the shoulders level, and then let one hip drop, and then actively pull back up. This is just starting to get a very baby, very basic movement in between the uh, layers of the bones and the tissue at the pelvis. For the Jefferson curls, we're going to work on getting that spinal flexion. So this is going to be something that most people feel really stiff. I know I feel stiff in the morning when I start this, so you're going to ease into it. That's the full range of motion, but for many people, you'll start just getting the upper back. Really think about the head and the neck. Start with that chin, tuck it, get a little bit of range of motion, keep the legs straight. Start to feel that back open up as you get a little bit more into it each rep. You're gonna ease into it, breathe, sink a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower each time. And get to that bottom position and reach towards the ground. But you will feel discomfort at the back of the legs. Don't let the legs bend. Actively flex the quads into this position and pull yourself down. This will open up and change dramatically. And as you get through this, you'll start to feel much more open because your body is no longer fighting that stiff posterior chain.